welcome back to the remaining question number 2.9 page number uh, 33 and 34. So, we solve this question up to the material consumed or material cost and I hope you will understand that how we calculate the material consumed or the material used. Now, after the material consumed, we have second one portion of the CJ statement that is direct labor cost. So, the 3 lakh 52,300 material consumed means that, that this that amount material that are put into process, put into plant and machinery. So, keep in mind automatically when material put into process. So, some direct labor took place on it and those direct labors are paid wages which are given in the question the 1 lakh 62,500 wages are paid to direct labor during the year 2019. What we will do now? We will add the direct labor cost. So, add direct labor cost. Sometimes this is also called direct wages. Cost. How much direct labor cost that are paid? That is one lakh sixty two thousand five hundred. 1 lakh 62,500. Some indirect cost also taken place in the manufacturing of the finished goods that is called factory overhead cost. Factory overhead means all those indirect cost which taken place in the factory that is called factory overhead. Keep in mind some indirect cost also taken place in the administration office that is called administrative overhead cost and also some indirect cost taken place in the selling and distribution departments that is called selling and distribution overhead. So, administrative overhead and selling and distribution overhead that is part of the income statement. We will record these in the income statement that is not part of the CGS. All those indirect costs which taken place in the factory, so only we will record in the factory indirect cost which is called factory overhead cost. So, with the direct labor cost, we also add factory overhead cost. But look at if we studied the question. So, factory overhead is not given in one amount different heads of the factory overhead accounts are given like indirect labor that is a part of the factory overhead cost, miscellaneous factory overhead that is also a part of the factory overhead, miscellaneous factory overhead and depreciation of the factory equipments that is also part of the 
factory overhead in our previous classes and questions factory overhead was given directly but here the different heads of accounts which is relating to the factory overhead that are given so what we will do we will add all the separate separate accounts all the indirect accounts amount and then sum it so first we will write the factory indirect labor indirect labor cost and indirect labor cost f we looked out in the question so that is 83000 and 400 indirect labors means are those labor which are indirectly involved in the production of finished goods like supervisor are indirect labors so the indirect labor cost is that is uh, 83400 second one depreciation depreciation is also depreciation factory equipment mm, when we use the factory equipments so at the end of the years we depreciate why these are our fixed assets and depreciation will be calculated on the fixed assets how much is the depreciation so depreciation of factory equipment that is just a minute how much that is 21,350 here in the question this is given that depreciation on factory equipment is how much 21,350 so depreciation cost will also be added here 21,350 we also have some factory overhead cost that is called miscellaneous factory overhead cost miscellaneous FOH cost what does it mean by miscellaneous look at small small indirect cost which taken place in the factory like repair and maintenance nut bolt uh, um, the coloring so all these are indirect cost and is their amount are small so we combine all these cost and put in one account that is called miscellaneous factory overhead account so miscellaneous factory overhead amount that is in the question uh, 47900 look at if you looked out the question so 47900 this is the miscellaneous factory overhead cost so we will add this 47,900 with the factory overhead cost 47,900 we don't have other cost so what we will do we will add all these 
cost and this is called now total FOH cost, factory overhead cost. Total factory overhead cost, we will sum up all these three miscellaneous factory overhead plus depreciation of the factory equipment plus indirect labor cost which is equals to 1 lakh 52,650. This is factory overhead cost and this is direct labor cost and 60, 1 lakh 62,500 and 3 lakh 52,300. This is material cost. Now, when we add material cost plus direct labor cost plus factory overhead cost, this is called total manufacturing cost. Formula for the total manufacturing cost is keep be noted total manufacturing cost that is equals to direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus factory overhead cost. So, this is the formula of the total manufacturing cost. Now, we have direct material cost, direct labor cost and factory overhead cost. Locate this is our direct labor cost and these are our factory overhead cost. Clear? How much? It is 1 lakh 52,650. So, our total manufacturing cost will be manufacturing cost. We will add all these three cost. Direct material cost plus direct labor cost plus factory overhead cost. So, this is equals to what? Here The six lake sixty seven seventy seven thousand three hundred just a minute locate uh, I will add the direct material cost plus FOH cost plus direct labor cost. So, that is equals to 6 lakh 67,450. This is total manufacturing cost. It means that the 6 lakh 67,450 material we put into the process in year 2019 but in the question some work in process which is on January 1st which shows the previous year remaining work in process that is 81,500. So, the 81,500 already work in process remain from the previous year. 
So, what we will do? We will add this 81,500 materials. So, add work in process inventory on January 1st, 2019. Look at, I am writing here January 1st, 2019. It means that this is the remaining work in process of the previous year. Asale Guzishta Manda. It means that this is on 31st December 2018. So, the closing of inventory of one year will become the beginning or opening of another year. How much? That is 81,500. It means that, look at now, the 6 lakh 67,450 work in process we put in year 2019, while the 81,500 we already have remaining work in process from the previous year, means that 81,500 work in process which is not convert to finished goods in the year 2018, that, that is converted to finished goods in the year 2019. So, that is why from over there I subtract and here I add this 81,500. So, now how much is total work in process? The the year 2018 work in process plus the year 2019 work in process. So, the 2019 work in process is 6 lakh 67,450 and the 81,500 this is the mm, previous year 2018 work in process. We add both of them. Now, we have the total work in process is 74 lakh, sorry, 7 lakh 48,950. We have the total work in process in the year 2019. Today is the ending of the year 2019. So, we have some uh, work in process remain, which is not convert to finished goods. Look at in the 7 lakh 48,950, the 42,350 work in process remain in machinery that, that is not convert to finished goods in the year 2019 till December 31st that will be converted to finished goods in the upcoming year, next year 2020. Clear? So, now from 2019, I will subtract it. Why? We record their cost in 2019, while that will be converted into 2020 to finish goods. So, from 2019, we will subtract their cost and the, co the same cost we will add in the 2020. Clear now? So, ending work in process, we will subtract less work in process inventory. work in process inventory on which date? December 31st, 2019 minus how much? The 42,350. So, now look at 
so now when we are subtracting the ending work in process so it means that when work in process ends so the finished goods will be manufactured so cost of finished goods this is also called cost of goods manufactured how much so locate from the seven lakh we will subtract the remaining 42350 so the seven lakh 6000 and 600 finished goods are produced how much the seven lakh 6600 means that this is the production of the current year means in 2019 we produced the seven lakh 6000 and 600 finished goods we produce that is called cost of goods manufactured okay now our next portion is that how we can properly calculate the the goods which we sold out in the year 2019 now the seven lakh 6600 finished goods we produced in the year 2019 but if we looked out the question so we also have some finished goods remain from the previous year and that is the 48600 means finished goods on january 1st these are the finished goods of the 2018 remaining unsold that is sold out in the 2019 so we will add these finished goods with the 2000 and 19 finished goods so add finished goods inventory this is also called beginning finished goods ya yeah, opening finished goods on january 1st 2019 how much 48600 look at this 48000 and 600 these are the 2000 and 18 finished goods remaining how much the 2000 and 18 and this the seven lakh 6600 this is the finished goods which we produced in 2019 from 1st of the january 2019 till today december 31st 2019 so what we we will add the 2018 remaining unsold finished goods and the 2019 production of the finished goods so total now total finished goods available and on finished goods what we do we so sell so now in the warehouse the how much amount finished goods that are ready for the sales clear so total finished goods available ya ready for sales
we will add the previous year remaining finished goods which is 48,600 plus the current year production finished goods which we produced. So now we have the total finished goods of 7 lakh 55,200.